In today's tutorial, I will show you how to use the Movie Database API to get a list of movies that are currently playing in theaters. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up. In this example, I will be using Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once we have everything set up, we can click send to make the API call. Looking at the results, we can now see a list of movies that are currently playing in theaters. So the first movie we see here is Deadpool and Wolverine. But if we go to the next movie, we can see it's Inside Out 2. And if we just keep going down the list, we'll see all of the movies that are currently in theaters. To get started, we can go back to the documentation and go to this specific link here, which will give us more info about the API call. Over here, we can just copy this request by clicking this button here. Going back to Postman, we can create a new request and just paste in what we copied. It should auto create the API request and this is what you should see. One change we need to make is to add our own API key. If you don't already have your own movie database API key, I have another video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to create your own. Once you have your own API key, we can add it as a query parameter. So for the key, we'll just type in API underscore key. And then for the value, just paste in your actual API key value. Right now, I'll just be using a variable, but you'll just paste in your actual API key here. That is the only change we need to make. Now, if we hit send, looking at the response inside this results array, we'll get back a list of 20 movies that are now currently playing in theaters. If you want the next 20 movies, we could just change the value of page from one to two and hit send. And in the response, we should now see the next 20 movies that are currently playing in theaters. If we collapse the results right here, we can see that the total number of available pages is 191. And for each page, it will have 20 different movies. That is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this.